Welcome to the Useful Idiot News, episode number two, The Great Leap Forward, Carl Becker reporting. The Great Leap Forward in the People's Republic of China was an economic and social campaign by the Communist Party from 1958 to 1962. The campaign was led by Chairman Mao Zedong to rapidly transform the country from an agrarian economy into a socialist society through rapid industrialization. However, it is commonly considered to have caused a great Chinese famine. Estimates of death range from 15 million to 80 million. Before 1949, peasants had farmed their own small pockets of land and observed traditional practices. It was realized that Mao's policy of using state monopoly on agriculture to finance industrialization would be unpopular. Therefore, it was proposed that the people should be brought under party control by the establishment of agricultural collectives. In 1957, Mao responded to tensions in the party by promoting free speech under the 100 Flowers campaign. Let a hundred flowers bloom, let a hundred schools of thought contend. In retrospect, some have come to argue that this was a ploy to allow critics of the regime to identify themselves. After this brief period, Mao began to oppress those who challenged the communist regime by using force. The crackdown continued through 1959. Those targeted were publicly criticized or condemned to prison camps. The Sparrow Campaign, also known as the Ford Pest Campaign, was introduced in 1958 as a hygiene measure. It specifically targeted the tree sparrow which ate grain seed and fruit. Sparrow nests were destroyed, eggs were broken, and chicks were killed. By 1960, Chinese leaders changed their tactics. Because sparrows ate a large number of insects, rather than seeing increases in yields, yields were substantially lower. By this time, however, it was too late, as locust populations swarmed the country and compounded the problems already in play. Ecological imbalance is credited with exacerbating the Great Chinese Famine. Backyard furnaces were small blast furnaces used by the people of China during the Great Leap Forward. These were constructed in communes with the purpose of fulfilling the idea of the rapid industrialization of China. People used every type of fuel they could to power these furnaces from coal to wood. Where iron ore was unavailable, they melted any steel objects they could get, even their own farming equipment. However, most of the steel was of poor quality. Even worse, the tending of these furnaces in the communes denied many peasants the time and opportunity to produce food, effectively starving many more. The amount of labor diverted to steel production and other construction projects meant that much of the harvest was left to rot uncollected in some areas. China continued to be a substantial exporter of grain, despite the widespread famine. As Mao sought to save face and convince the outside world of the success of his plans. With dramatically reduced yields and inflated production statistics, very little grain was left for the peasants to eat. It was claimed that people actually starved to death outside warehouses filled with grain. Foreign aid was refused from Japan and the United States. Deaths from famine or political retribution are estimated from 20 million to 80 million people. The legacy of Mao. In certain circles, Mao has benefited from selective memory. On Mao's birthday, the New York Times and CNBC ran headlines wishing, Happy Birthday, Chairman Mao. Obama cabinet member Anita Dunn said, Chairman Mao and Mother Teresa are two of my favorite philosophers. 
Ron Bloom, Manufacturing Czar, cites Chairman Mao as his political guide. You will also see Mao positively featured in pop culture, universities, and political circles. Atrocities of the past, now just a footnote in history. Due in part to the failures of the Great Leap, after 1962, Mao mostly abstained from the operations of government. Maoist ideology took a back seat in the Communist Party until Mao launched the Cultural Revolution in 1966, which marked his political comeback. However, we'll save this for another discussion. As always, thanks for watching, like or subscribe, greatly appreciated.